Hey guys, I'm Eric Bramlett. I'm the broker owner of Bramlett Residential. We've sent newsletters in email format for a few years now and we generally have a good response. A friend of mine suggested that we try this in uh, video format, so I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and putting together a video presentation on the Austin market statistics. So thanks to my friend Dan for making the suggestion and thanks to everyone here who's following along our first attempt at this. So the overall August statistics look really, really good. The average sold price is now 638,000 and the median sold price is 500,000. Uh, appreciation is at a much more sustainable level with 11.6% average appreciation and 6.4% median appreciation. Uh, on average, it's taking sellers roughly 25 days to sell. Now, we did see a 30% decline in sold units, but the number of contracts declined at only 23%, so we'll expect to see solds bounce back uh, pretty nicely next month. The number that we're pretty excited about is the stabilization of under contract and pending units. Um, they bounce back slightly and uh, we now have two months in a row with a year over year decline of roughly 25%. Under contract and pending properties are the best and earliest measurement of demand. Uh, what we see in this chart is that the mar market began to, began to decline in April and that decline accelerates in May and then it bottoms out in June. In July and August, we saw similar rates of decline with August ticking up slightly over June again at 23%. Uh, we've also watched in inventory increase as fewer homes are sold and homes continue to hit the market. August saw 3.6 months of inventory, which is only slightly higher than July at 3.4 months of inventory. We don't expect this to increase much because the net new listings in August were roughly the same as the number of homes that went under contract in August. The market began shifting pretty dramatically in April of this year, and you can see here with the changing inventory levels. Inventory went up considerably from April to May, again from May to June, and then slightly less from June to July. There's only a marginal increase from July to August, and we don't expect much change from August to September. At 3.6 months of inventory, we're in a balanced market that leans towards sellers. You could say that we've returned to a much more normal market. So what does a normal market look like? Well, the market gets sluggish in the fall and winter. We expect that to happen this year. If you're a seller and you're on the market, then pricing will be the most critical decision you make. In a normal fall, you have to price competitively, and that will be the case here. You want to consider other active properties on the market as your competition, and you want to make sure that, you're more, that you are more attractive than they are. Sold comps aren't as relevant, but you'll want to adjust any comps that sold between April and June down as the market has pulled back from that pricing peak. If you're a buyer, you have more leverage now than you've had in a long time. You will have more leverage this fall and winter than you will in the spring, but that doesn't mean you need to buy now. The coming spring will have more listings to choose from and more competition, but it won't be anything like it was in the past two years, which have just been insane. Since the past two years have been so insane, it's easy to forget what a normal market looks like. We went back to May of, 20, of 2019, which was the last normal spring we've had. In May 2019, we saw 5.9% appreciation, 2.1 months of inventory. This means that sellers got 98% of their asking price on average, and it took sellers 47 days to sell. That sounds really insane whenever you compare that to 2020 and 2021, but this is a very normal market. It's actually somewhat of a seller's market. We think that this coming spring of 2023 will look a lot more like 2019 than it would look like in 2021. We like to remind everyone that real estate is hyper-local and hyper-situational. If we can help you out with your situation to discuss it, to strategize what you'd like to do, then please reach out to us. Or if you're not currently on our newsletter and you'd like to be added, please reach out to us. You can Google Bramlett Residential, you can Google my name, or you can go to our website at bramlettresidential.com. Thanks a lot. I hope everybody has an awesome week.